From ancient monsters lurking in the deep to tiny, alien-like beings in the Arctic, these newly discovered species are reshaping what we thought we knew about life on Earth. Buckle up as we dive into the most unimaginable creatures scientists found just this year. In January 2024, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery while filming the National Geographic series Pole to Pole with Will Smith for Disney+. Plus. The largest anaconda ever recorded. A new species called Eunectus akiyama, or the northern green anaconda. Until then, it was believed that only one species of green anaconda existed. However, this new discovery, published in the scientific journal MDPI Diversity in February, proved otherwise. Researcher Brian G. Fry, speaking to Routers, explained that their original mission was to study anacondas as indicator species to assess the environmental damage caused by rampant oil spills in Ecuador's Yasuni region. The two species of green anacondas split nearly 10 million years ago, yet remain genetically almost identical. This find not only sheds light on the diversity of wildlife, but also underscores the impact of human activities on these very fragile ecosystems. In January 2024, researchers made an exciting announcement in the journal PLOS1, the discovery of a new species of lizard called Abronia cunemica, also known as the Copilla arboreal alligator lizard. This journey began back in 2014 when the species was first spotted in photographs taken in the northern highlands of Chiapas, Mexico. Between 2015 and 2022, scientists embarked on five expeditions to the region, determined to gather enough evidence to officially classify the species. Their efforts paid off and Abronia cunemica was finally confirmed. As reported by the Miami Herald, this unique lizard dwells high up in trees, showcasing distinctive brown and yellow scales, and can grow to over nine inches long. This discovery not only adds to our understanding of the biodiversity in this region, but also highlights the thrill of uncovering species previously unknown to science. In 2024, scientists aboard the RV Falker made an exciting discovery off the coast of Costa Rica, a new species of deep sea octopus, the Dorado octopus. This new species is a part of the Mus octopus gene, and it was found during an expedition exploring sea mounts and hydrothermal vents. The octopuses were observed brooding their eggs near these warm vents, which provide an ideal environment for their offspring to hatch faster. Named after the discovery site El Dorado Hill, the Dorado octopus stands out as a close relative of the pearl octopus discovered off of California. This discovery adds to growing evidence that many deep sea octopuses have evolved to take advantage of these hydrothermal habitats. The research team, led by doctors Beth Orcutt and Jorge Cortez, also identified several other new octopus species during their expeditions, contributing to the rich biodiversity of the deep Pacific waters. In 2019, a commercial fossil hunter named Mark Eatma made an exciting discovery on a ranch in Montana, a set of dinosaur bones unlike anything ever seen before. I know that this discovery didn't happen right in 2024, okay, you can stop typing your comment, but there are still so many discussions and debates going on about its classification, which I think makes it a perfect candidate for this list today. This skeleton caught the attention of experts and it was eventually purchased by Denmark's Museum of Evolution, where it is now proudly displayed. This newly discovered species, named Lokiceratops rangiformis, was given its unique name due to its striking horns, which resemble those of Norse god Loki. The name perfectly captures the creature's mysterious and powerful appearance, adding a mythological flair to this remarkable paleontological find. In an exciting deep sea expedition off the coast of Chile, researchers uncovered over a hundred previously unknown marine species, as well as several massive underwater mountains, including one towering more than four times taller than the Burj Khalifa. These newly discovered species include bizarre and fascinating creatures like intricate sponges, spiral-shaped corals, and a bright red sea toad with hand-like fins. The expedition
mission carried out by the Schmidt Ocean Institute used an underwater robot to explore the slopes of seamounts, revealing this stunning biodiversity in one of the world's most remote and unexplored regions. While identifying and classifying these new species will take time, the discovery offers a glimpse into the rich, hidden ecosystems of the deep ocean and underscores the importance of protecting these very vulnerable habitats. In 2019, researchers from the nonprofit Ocean X and the Cape Eleuthera Island School embarked on an ambitious mission to the Bahamas, specifically to explore the depths of Exuma Sound. During their expedition, they stumbled upon an entirely new species of isopod, which they fittingly named Buralana nicorum. However, it wasn't until January 2024 that they shared their exciting discovery in the journal Zootaxa. This ancient crustacean, estimated to be 300 million years old, is a distant relative of the beloved roly-poly. By studying this remarkable species, scientists hope to uncover crucial insights into the ecosystem of the Great Bahama Banks, one of the most unique marine environments on Earth. The discovery offers a glimpse into the deep history of our oceans and promises to shed light on the delicate balance of life that thrives in these waters. In a remarkable discovery beneath the Arctic sea ice, University of Manitoba graduate student Aurelie Delaforge uncovered Canada's first scientifically confirmed monster. This tiny creature, just two millimeters long, is a new species of copepod from the Monstraloida family named Monstralopsis planifrons, or the flat-headed monster. With its translucent body, bristly legs, one weak eye, and two antennae covered in ragged hairs, it swims through the dark waters of Cambridge Bay Nunavut. Despite its monstrous name, this zooplankton is harmless and fascinating. Delaforge wasn't intentionally seeking for new species. While sampling ocean water during her PhD research on plankton blooms, she encountered the copepod during its rare adult form, which only appears for two months a year. Her background in taxonomy paired with fortunate timing allowed her to recognize the oddity in her samples. After sending her findings to a leading expert in Mexico, the creature was confirmed as a new species, officially adding to Canada's Arctic biodiversity. Delaforge's discovery, published in the journal Zookeys, highlights the mysteries still lurking in the Arctic today. As she puts it, quote, when we study the Arctic, there are still things we don't know. This is a good example. A new dragonfly species, Epithemsis weyendensis, or the red-rumped hawklet, has been discovered in the lush forests of Wyanod, part of the Western Ghats. This species this species stands out due to its darker pigmentation, a distinct red patch on its abdomen, and the absence of a yellow stripe seen in related species. This discovery was made by a team of researchers from Christ College India and the Max Planck Institute in Germany during a study of Kerala's insects. Genetic analysis revealed a surprising 12% difference from its closest relative, confirming it as a new species. This dragonfly is highly seasonal, appearing only in October before spending the rest of the year as larva. The findings were published in the Journal of Asia-Pacific Biodiversity. In March 2021, 14-year-old Davis Marthen Damaletto set out with his father on a journey through the countryside near their home in eastern Indonesia. What started as an exploration of his lifelong fascination with the natural world quickly turned into a groundbreaking discovery. During their trek, Davis stumbled upon a strange looking insect that he had never seen before. Rather than ignoring it, Davis collected the unusual creature and brought it home, where he then reached out to Garda Bagus de Mastra, founder of the Indonesian Mantis and Phasmid Forum. After careful study and collaboration with international entomologists, Davis's discovery was confirmed as a brand new species of stick insect. This species is the first of its genus ever recorded in the area, and only the 
second distinct stick insect species from the island. Remarkably, Davis monitored the entire development of the insect from egg to adulthood, helping researchers better understand this new addition to science. For Davis, this achievement at such a young age is a proud reminder of the importance of curiosity and exploration, especially when it comes to the often overlooked world of insects. In 2024, researchers discovered a new species of Antarctic dragonfish off the western Antarctic Peninsula. Nicknamed the banded dragonfish, it was identified through genetic analysis of larval specimens initially mistaken for a related species. However, after comparing DNA from samples worldwide, scientists realized the genetic differences pointed to a new species. This new species is notable for the two distinct bands on its sides, a feature not found in its close relatives. This discovery highlights both the unknown biodiversity of the Antarctic and the fragile state of its ecosystem, as the dragonfish has a limited range and could be vulnerable to environmental changes and commercial fishing. The species was named in honor of the recently decommissioned research vessel Lawrence M. Gold, which played a very vital role in Antarctic exploration. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you later. Thank you.